Hello, hello, and welcome back to Apiary Minor. I am excited today because I got some good news to share. I finally figured it out. I finally cracked LL Minor, and I have my three 3060s running at what? Uh, it's probably 75% of their capacity, which is a big step for me. But I was having a really, really hard time trying to downgrade my driver to 460.39. That kind of seems like the golden goose in anything you want to do with these nerfed 3060s that I'm working with. I mean, for some reason, it just wasn't working. Every time I tried, it would crash this GPU down here. And I tried everything I knew to try. I have re-etched the card pr probably four or five different times, each time sitting down, confident that just a little willpower and some determination I could figure it out. I didn't. I looked it up online on my desktop and I couldn't find anything or anyone who had the same problem. Then I looked it up on my phone a different day and for some reason that time on my phone it brought up a forum on HiveOS where someone was asking about what to mine on 3060s and another person mentioned a problem that's kind of similar to this. So if you happen to be having the same problem that I was having with this NVIDIA driver crashing your GPU, here's what I did. There's a guy named Kagito, I believe his name was, on, it was actually on a Hive OS forum. I don't know why I couldn't find it on my desktop, but he said, what you have to do is first, well, you go here and you have to stop the miner, like so. Once you stopped that miner, you will go into your worker options here and you see maintenance mode. That is what is going to be the key to, to downgrading this driver. Something I didn't really know about. So you go into here, it's on disable right now, which means it's not on. And you go down to with loading drivers. So you'll click that. I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it. But you'll click that, you'll click apply, you'll come here, and then you'll want to reboot the whole system. So I turn it off completely, start it back up. So your next step is going to be upgrading your Hive OS. And I had it at 801 and that seemed to be enough. That worked for me. So at least 801, you might want to go all the way to 819. I don't really want to upgrade mine right now because it's running, so I will do it when I know there's an upgrade specifically for my cards. After you go through the upgrade process, you will then go in here and shut down and boot again. That will take a little bit of time. So once you have upgraded HiveOS, you're going to want to boot up the shell. Booting up the shell. So once you're in the Hive Shell, you're gonna run two commands. The first one, I'm not sure how necessary it is, but it worked for me and I'm gonna follow the guy's instructions. So you put APT update, and then you will press enter. That will run that command. It'll do the whole loading process. You'll see it until it says 100% at the bottom, success. Shouldn't take too long. So the next step is going to be run the NVIDIA driver update for 460.39 and I did that before, but in here, I actually typed in the whole download from HiveOS of that driver specifically. So here's where you're gonna type. NVIDIA driver update, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash download dot HiveOS dot farm forward slash drivers forward slash all caps NVIDIA hyphen capital L Linux hyphen x86 underscore 64 hyphen 460.39 dot run space hyphen hyphen force. Now, I'm going to have that down in the description, obviously, because that was a lot. But force, I think that is the key here. You have to force it because I don't know if that screws things up, but it worked for me. So oh, once you run that command, it should take about a half hour. And after that, you should find that in your flight sheet, LOL Miner is running fine. Ho 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 ho! 33, 34, 34, we're getting there. Do a little more waiting. And just like that, 36, 36, and 36, all running right around 110. Yeah, that feels good. Oh, gosh. Oh, I almost forgot. Don't forget to go into your worker and disable this after the fact. It might do it automatically when you reboot, I'm not sure, but if it doesn't, 
then you'll want to go in here and disable it. So there's still some other things I want to try. Uh, there is Ergo. Uh, I'd like to, I'd be interested in mining that, but also there's the fan glitch. And I don't know if anyone's mastered that yet, but I'm going to give my crack at it. You know, I got to try. I'll be honest, this feels like a success. Still moving forward. So thank you so much. Uh, if anyone else is having the same trouble, if it helps even one of you, then it was worth making this video. Uh, I was so frustrated by it. So if you're in that same situation, then hopefully, hopefully this helps. These are kind of newbie mistakes. A lot of people might just roll their eyes and be like, well, duh, you got, those are what you gotta do. I didn't know that, but now I know, and I am all the wiser for it. So thank you so much, you guys, if you're here watching still, and if you are, please like down below and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. So long.